Welcome back to Blar. We have a Bubble Fever card game. This is the Disney version. It says some, some. Uh, I don't know. I got it for $2.50, if not cheaper. From the thrift store. Comes in a tin. It's nice. Um, not a huge fan of like oddly shaped boxes or tins because on the shelf, that's a kind of an issue. Looks, looks silly. Um, so you gotta put them front ways or stack them. Even stacking them is kind of a problem. So I'm not a huge fan of that. All right, got our instructions here. Our large amount of bubble cards. I've got some, some, um, two to four players. Don't know much about Disney's regular properties. I don't know who some some is. If I'm saying that right. Uh, here's a stack of bubble cards. I guess they're all those. Yeah, whatever these guys are. Uh, that's Stitch, right? Yeah. So there's that guy and the other famous Disney, Minnie Mouse. Okay, so you also maybe some some just art style. You guys can let me know because I have no idea. Take a look at it. It's more of an unboxing. Because I've never played this game. I'm sure you don't want me to sit here and read this huge instruction booklet. Ah, uh, it's a fold out. I hate fold outs. Let's make a booklet. Don't have me have to fold out a road map. Alright. Object of the game. Score the most points. Play these stacks of cards. Playing as many cards from your deck as you can. Okay. So every bubble cards from the rest of the deck. Give each player bubble cards according to the number of players. Okay, so it scales. So bubble cards are these, I guess. Alright. So they're just what double sided bubbles? Yep. Okay, bubble cards. And what are these? These are the some some cards. Uh, two players, seven each. Okay. Maybe we'll try to run a, a little bit through it. A hand. Alright, seven. There's two left over. Uh, I guess he's just going the deck. Alright. <clears throat> Each player puts their bubble cards in a pile next to them, shuffle the remaining cards, and deal them out face down evenly among players. Each player around their own deck. Ah, oh, that's a huge deck for two players. <laughs> so you have your bubble cards on the side. It says deal out the remaining. Deal them out evenly. Uh, I'm not going to do all that. We're going to split it right about in the middle here. All right. Perfectly even. It's their deck. This will be my deck, I guess. Okay. I got to go. Make sure the whole instructions, in case you don't have any instructions, you'll have them on here. Uh, shovel the deck. Player uses starter cards to create some stacks in the middle of the table. Cannot be more than three stacks at one time. You will place some cards to each stack. Players use bubble cards to claim the stack and add them to their own scoring pile. Start the game. Player calls out one, two, three. Everyone plays at the same time as quickly as possible, repeating the actions below. Hold your deck in one hand. Use your other hand to flip over one card so you can see the card face. When you flip the card, it must be played either to the start or add to a stock in the middle. Lose the focus here. Go to the table. See the card section. Or place face up with your own discard pile. Now flip another card. Keep playing as quickly as possible. 
Once you play and discard all cards in your deck, pick up your discard pile, turn it over, and keep playing. Hint, anytime you may choose to play the top card of your discard pile on one of the stacks. Hmm. Okay. So three stacks? Does that have like a... Alright. Starter cards. You flip over a starter card when there are fewer than three stocks, you must play them in the middle of the table to start a new stack. If there are already three stacks, you cannot start a new stack and must play it to your discard pile instead. Starter cards may not be played on top of any other card. Okay, so you can't play until you get a starter out there, I guess. Right, let's find a starter. Okay, so these are starter cards. I don't know what times three means, but that's fine. So we'll put a couple, kind of stack them like so. Of course, it should be shuffled randomly, but I'm trying to figure out how this thing works. Okay, so we're at starter cards, read that. Okay. Sum card. Large or small, may be played on top of any sum card that features the same character as a sum card. May be played on top of a starter card, but only. If some character appears on the starter card. Okay. Alright, so... Sounds like it's like this. So you have to flip a starter card. And then... One of those people have to match. So we have this guy. He's on the starter card. He can go down. And then you can also put more on top of him if he matches. Yeah. So it looks like that's the deal. And I think some of these have like times three, which I guess is a scoring multiplier. So that seems how that goes. Oh, here we go. Yeah. After the first sum has been played on a starter card, only some cards with the same character may be played on that stack until it's claimed with a bubble card. The only difference between large sum cards and small sum cards is large sum cards are worth more points at the end of the game. Bubble cards. At any time a player may play one of their bubble cards on top of a stack in order to claim it. Let's say then, then they move the stack to their scoring pile. If more than one player tries to play a bubble card on top of the same stack, only a player whose bubble card hits the stack first may claim the stacks. It'll be quick, so kind of like a slapjack kind of thing. If you play a bubble card on another player, and another player plays a bubble card... Wait. In the same stack faster than you... Oh, you do not lose your bubble card. Okay. You put it back in your bubble pile. All right, so if you lose the speed, you, you keep your bubble card. You must use the same hand. Okay, <coughs> okay, you must use the same hand to grab and play bubble cards as you flip over and play cards from your deck. It may not hold your one card in that hand at a time. So, okay, so I'm guessing, so here's your deck. You're flipping cards. See that matches. You have your bubble stack, I guess. Ready to ready to go closely. And <clears throat> what's nice is double sided, so you can just keep your flip motion. Instead of going like that, that seems slower. Flip it, grab the stack, add it to your scoring pile. Alright. Again, okay, you have to use the same hand, so you have like Flip. Well, it might be quicker to just go like that, actually. If you're depending, I guess you'll figure it out for yourself. All right, those are the match. Put that back. It's a good strategy list. I can accumulate most some cards before claiming it, so it's worth more points. But don't wait too long. Another player may claim it first. Right. So you want the stack to get as big as possible, and also to hopefully get one of those multipliers in there. See if we have one. I thought I saw one. Maybe not. But they're going to be three stacks anyway, so he, they're going to be playing cards at the same time. 
very quickly. So these should have, yeah, that guy. So you could, as soon as you see this guy, you're like, well, I'm just going to grab that stack if I can. And there's a maximum of, what, three starter stacks. <clears throat> so they probably would play one eventually to get their stuff started, like that. And you'd have one more. Max of three. And of course, when one goes away, you can start a new starter stack. All right. Ending the game. Once the very last bubble card on the table is played, the game ends. Okay, players count up the points. <coughs> Scoring pile, subtract points for the cards remaining in their deck. And discard pile. Oh, okay, so you definitely want to get rid of your cards. Uh, starter cards, bubble cards, small sum cards are worth one point each. Long sum cards, of course, three points. Subtract one point for each card remaining in your deck or discard pile. The highest score wins. No, if you run out of bubble cards before the other player, keep flipping through your deck since you may since you must play your starter cards to a new stack. Wait. <clears throat> since you must play your starter cards to a new stack. You lose points for each card you have left in your deck. Or do okay. Or just go pile. So I'll get rid of as many cards as possible. Okay, so that, that makes sense. Let's say you claimed all your bubbles. You're still going to be flipping. Trying to get a starter going in case this one's gone. And that way you can be like, okay, I don't have that. We can keep on flipping into your discard pile. I do have that one. I guess the danger to that is that, though. Right? I guess you don't have to play that. You're like, I don't want to give them three points. So I'll just keep on flipping. And then can't play that. Dog's not on there. I'm just using this one, I'm not paying attention to those. So it's like if you're out of bubble cards, you can still keep flipping and playing onto a starter. But again, I, you probably would want to be wary of not dropping in a, a three on their stack so they could claim it if they still have bubble cards, in my opinion. I don't know, I haven't played this really. <laughs> so it seems pretty fast. And that's, a, that's not a decent, like, I guess, take on Slabjack. Uh, get your card started, get your pile, claim it, get your score pile. And then you're going to add up all of your numbers. You'd have three, four, five, uh, let's count, six, seven, eight. That's the same thing about starter count, counts for points. Yep, okay, there are points. So you'd have ten points here. But if that's all you got, you'd have to minus. <laughs> All these cards from your score. So you definitely want to get rid of your deck as fast as possible. Alright, I think that's it. I guess I could try to do like a quick hand playthrough. This is uh, okay, just different language instructions. Yeah, that's all. So this short instructions. Just this small page here. Okay, so have your bubble stacks here. Some of these were their cards, I think. And it doesn't say like I don't think it said you start. with stacks out. I think you have to flip your starter out. Yeah, I think. Could be wrong. The instructions are there. You can, you can rewind and see if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I think you have to flip them out. So you have your hand. In your deck, you have to use the same hand for everything. So you probably want to set it here. If you left a right handed side, you know, flip cards in your discard pile to get a starter out. And you play at the same time. So they're going to be going just like this. Got a starter out that goes in the center of the deck or center of the table. They're going to play <coughs> these cards if you have them. So you got a Mickey Mouse. It goes on top. 
<coughs> they're going to be doing the same thing. So there's a scar pile. They put a starter out. And that's going to go at the same time. Stack that. Uh, they don't have anything but discards. That's a three. So they're you may want to decide, hey, if they're going to stack on there, they can grab all this. Uh, I'm not sure how many cards. I guess once you memorize how many of these are in the deck, that could be an issue. Or an advantage, I guess. So if you know there's like only one of these and two of these, you know that's going to be it for the stack, right? So then you're going to be like, okay, I'll grab it. Put it in my score pile. And then start again. So nothing there. Up in there, trying to get over here. This guy goes here. Again, this guy will be playing at the same time. Nothing. They want to get a starter out. Got it. Another starter. Then you have the max of three. So you can't play another starter until one of these clear out. Like this guy can't be played. Goes in discard. Of course they're flipping as well. Starter can't be played. And when you run out of deck, you just shuffle it. Three right there. And like the game scales, like two players have seven cards, and it goes down from there. As you saw in the instruction booklet, that stacks, another starter, uh, stacks here, so he's got three already there, four here, uh, that stacks. And you just got to decide when you want to claim something. So now we're stuck here with all these guys. It's going to be flipping through until somebody gets one. You probably stack that score pile. So on and so on, until all your bubble cards are gone. And then, like I said, if you run out of bubble cards and they're still going, you still want to play because you want to get cards out of your deck. So, which is kind of, I don't know, because you could be giving them points, maybe. So, like, do you really want to give them the three points here or keep it as minus one? So, I wouldn't stack that because I don't think you have to. I don't think you have to. So we sort to discard that out, I would think. But this one, you're like, okay, I'll get rid of that. And you want to discard your starter, or hopefully <coughs> you have claimed something. That way you can get that out of your deck. So that is Bubble Fever. Not a huge fan of this theme. I don't know what Sum Sum is. Um, like I said, not a bad kind of take on Slapjack. And the cards look nice. The stock is okay. The instructions are pretty easy to read. Uh, it's kind of a cool idea to like have a, like a stack card for claiming the stacks. But everything seems to be functional. I don't see anything really broken. Except like maybe once you memorize how many uh, certain cards are in the game, you can keep track of that. You'd be better at grabbing stacks. All right. Bubble Fever. Kind of an unboxing, I guess, a playthrough or how to play a little bit. Uh, I will put the instructions up. You know what? Just in case someone needs them. Let's do that. So I've had that happen before. Someone's asked for like certain instructions on things. All right. So set up. We just here for a couple seconds. how to play starter cards over here you have your card um, what they are some cards small and big the bubble cards and in any game how you score I score wins, of course. Bubble Fever. I don't think not a bad pickup for a couple bucks. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.